I was reading that you played electric bass for a short period of time in the early 60s. And I'm just curious as to why you focused mainly, decided to focus mainly strictly on acoustical bass and you never went back again. Because it said you never went back, it could be wrong. So mistake me, but why don't you ever go back? Well, you know, at the time, uh, electric, it was called Fender, that brand name actually at the time, came on the scene. Uh, it wasn't doing much in the commercial, or certainly not in the jazz field. Uh, and then Monk Montgomery, Wes's brother, began to play with Lionel Hampton's band and made it do what other electric bass players hadn't done other than the, the rock and roll bass players, you know, one, four, five, one. Uh, when uh, that instrument got to New York finally, the producers of commercials didn't know if they wanted the electric bass sound or the acoustic bass sound. So all the upright players in New York ran out and bought these electric basses, George Vivier, Milt Hinton, Richard Davis, me, and, and uh, for a while we were running around in cabs in New York with an upright on one arm and kind of dragging the bass along like a little red wagon down the street, you know. As it turned out, uh, to, to be, to work much on that instrument, you got to really play it really well. And as the level of skill on that bass by those players got better, you know, they made the electric bass do other kinds of things. It was clear to all of us that to be that competitive, you got to stop playing the upright. Well, I thought that that wasn't okay for me. So once I made the decision that I would not have the time to, to be competitive with the skill level that those guys were developing on the electric bass, I just gave it to my son. And I started playing upright with that, a different kind of determination at that point, knowing that I'm free from this responsibility of being competitive with those players like ultimate Victor Wooden and, and Steve Bailey and all those, Marcus Miller and Tom Barney. And they're going to make the bass do something. You know, I don't have that kind of time to be that competitive. So I'm comfortable just to play the upright and try to do what I can do.